Noah was desperate. He wrote to Allie that he was sorry and stupid for breaking up with her. He wrote to tell her that he still loved her and he wanted to see her, and that if she would write back, he would come to wherever she was. He wrote one letter a day for a year, 365 letters, but they all went unanswered. Hey, Fred! Nothing? Sorry. Right, thank you. Finally, after a year of silence, he decided to put it all behind him and start a new life. So he wrote a farewell letter, and he and Finn packed their bags and headed for Atlanta. chasing Rommel through the North African <laughs> desert, they were deployed to Patton's third army in Europe. She agreed with all her heart, but couldn't understand why at the very moment she said yes, Noah's face came to her mind. <laughs> oh, good to see you. Let me see you. You bleeding anywhere? No? Everything good? Oh, I love you. <laughs> Come on, there's something I gotta show you. Come on. What's going on? What is this? Here. I sold the house. You sold the house? Yep. Gotta be out by the end of the month. Between that and your GI Bill, you ought to be able to get it now. Get what? Your dream house, the Windsor Plantation. Dad. No, don't dad me. I don't want to hear about it. I already talked to the bank. They're going to give you the loan. Well, I can't let you sell your house. It's done. It's a good thing. You should do it. <laughs> Wait a second. You sell the house. Where are you going to live? With you, dummy. What do you think? Somebody's got to help you fix it up. Noah took a look at the house, but only saw one thing, Allie. He decided right there to fulfill his lifelong dream. He would rebuild the old house from the ground up. And when Noah went to Charleston to get his building plans approved, fate stepped in and dealt him a sweet card. <laughs> 